Good afternoon, everybody. We are super excited that you're joining us here for DIY Tuesday. We have a really cool recipe for you guys today. Now, um, this was supposed to be posted last week while we were at leadership, and they took away my ingredients at customs. So, here we are. Um, we have all of our stuff here. I'm actually going to go over a couple of things because we've already, um, sorry, we've already combined some of the ingredients because they take a while to heat up. So um, what we've done is we have a half cup of coconut oil. So this isn't fractionated coconut oil, it's actual coconut oil that you melt. And um, then we have a quarter cup of beeswax in this bowl as well as a um, two tablespoons of shea butter. Now that shea butter is just gonna help, um, wow, I totally even forgot to tell you guys what we're making. So, hey, we're making a DIY sunscreen. So this is a really good solution for um, anybody who's gonna be out in the sun. Obviously it's springtime now, um, temperatures are getting a little bit warmer, people are outside more. So we're just wanting to give you guys a healthier option for putting things on your skin because you don't want all of those nasty ingredients from the sunscreens you can buy at the store, right? So they have like that aluminum and then they have other things. It's just not good for you, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and make our own version today that's totally natural, it's totally safe, and it's super fast and you don't need a lot. So what we have in here again is we have those two tablespoons of um, shea butter. So it's not shea oil, it's the butter. Um, we do sell that on our website as well as the beeswax. So we did a fourth of a cup of beeswax and then we did a half cup of um, coconut oil. Now, there are a couple of ways you can melt this and it's totally up to you. You can melt them on the stove. Um, I would recommend starting with the beeswax first because it does take a little bit longer to melt than those other ingredients. Um, then we're gonna do, so then I added the coconut oil and then I added the shea butter because it, those are like in order of how long they take to melt. So you can do it in on the stove, you can do it in the microwave. I know a lot of people just don't hate me for saying the microwave. I know a lot of people don't like using the microwave, that's totally okay. You can use the stove and you can also use a hot chocolate melting pot. Um, I think you could get them at like any home goods store. You could probably get them at your, you know, like supermarket, you know, like Walmart or Target. Um, but they're really good, especially for the DIY recipes, just helping you make sure everything's melted and good. And then you can stir it. Um, I've had mine sitting out for a while just because if you pour this super hot a mixture into this plastic container, you are going to buckle the plastic. Even though it's a heavy wall jar, um, you just have to watch out for that and make sure that this has cooled enough before you pour it in here. Otherwise it will buckle and it'll look weird. Um, it won't affect the quality though of your sunscreen. So now that we have this, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of, um, this is almond oil, this is sweet almond oil. Um, we do have this on our website. Also, for those of you who are allergic to almond oil, um, you can use jojoba, I think that's the correct way to pronounce it, oil. Um, and if I'm wrong, correct me. But um, that is a good sub substitute for this too. You'll still use a quarter of a cup. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this in here, measure that out, and then I'm just gonna put that in here. Now this is gonna really help with your skin. Um, that's a really nice, it's kind of a moisturizer, sweetener kind of thing. Um, again, I would recommend um, just making sure that your mixture is still hot when you're adding this in, otherwise it will start to cool the mixture and it'll actually create little like cloud formations in there, which is really weird and it'll like solidify. It's weird, but it happens. So make sure that your mixture is still hot enough that you can mix those in. And then we are going to take a, wow, okay, two um, tablespoons of zinc oxide powder. Now this is optional, but it does, um, it does add a little bit more protection from the sun um, and this is all natural. We are bringing this in as well. It will be here in the summer. Um, so check that, check for that in the summer lookbook. That is, we're really excited about that. But if you haven't seen already, the spring lookbook is almost on its way. So 
watch for that. The spring download is available though online. It is $2.99 for the whole thing and you have about 15 recipes in that download. It is amazing. And let me tell you, we worked super hard on those recipes and they are so good. Um, and the stickers are adorable. Like, oh guys, I'm super excited for you guys to see them. So um, now I only have a wet spoon because I didn't think this through. So I'm not gonna use this, but I am gonna use my cup measurer. And we're just gonna do about two tablespoons worth of zinc oxide, right? Um, you can add more, you can add less. It really doesn't matter, but it is gonna create kind of like a paste. Um, and I'm just gonna gradually add this. It's gonna create like a pasty consistency with this sunscreen, which is totally okay. That's what you want, right? You don't want it being super runny. Um, and then for the essential oils, you guys, um, I grabbed lavender. You don't have to use lavender though. Um, I've heard a lot of people have used some other things. Um, someone suggested Melaleuca. Um, I think there was another one and I don't remember what it is, but if you have any other suggestions for what other oils to put in there, go ahead and comment below. Um, you can obviously put more than one oil in if that's what you're feeling, it's totally okay. Um, so let me just explain to you guys, the coconut oil and the almond oil are really good for your skin. They're going to help moisturize it and keep it safe. Um, that zinc is going to help protect you from the sun's rays. And then the, uh, the shea butter is going to do the same thing. Um, and then that beeswax is actually going to help solidify it inside the container. So that's why you need the beeswax. Um, otherwise it'll end up being a little bit creamy and it'll melt a lot faster. And especially in the sun, you don't want that to happen. The beeswax will keep that melting point a little bit higher so that, you know, if you're out in the sun all day, it's not going to melt and, you know, explode and leak out of the lid. And then it's just, guys, you know, if you've ever like melt, if you've ever had a bottle of oil open in your bag or something and spill all over everything, it's not fun to clean up. Um, I, <laughs> I had that happen with one of my essays in high school and the ink ran everywhere. Like I couldn't even read it anymore. So I had to go reprint it anyways. So just add the beeswax. It is a necessity. The zinc is optional. Again, if you are allergic to almond oil and you want to use something else, you can use that jojoba oil that is coming in summer as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I have this consistency and I'm going to try to mix it a little bit more because there's still a little bit of that zinc oxide sitting at the bottom. Um, which is normal, obviously. It's gonna turn kind of milky color. Um, that's good, you want it to be that color. Um, and it's gonna still be pretty soupy, right? So you can see here, it's not really solidified at all. But that's okay, because that's what we want it to be. It's pretty cool now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try, we all know that I'm super good at spilling things, um, I'm going to try to get this in here after I add the oil. So what we're going to do, I'm only going to add about four drops of lavender oil. Feel free to add as many drops as you want. Um, this is totally to preference. So whatever you want to do is totally fine. Um, you don't even have to add oil if you don't want to, right? Um, once again, this is all like you can totally customize this recipe, but do not skimp on the beeswax, I promise. Um, that will be a nightmare. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. So I only need, wow, okay, that was fun. I only need like a little bit, so we're just gonna, oh, there we go, okay. I'm gonna pour that in there. And I'm just gonna pour kind of to the top because all you're gonna do when you use it is you're just gonna scoop in there with your fingers. Um, and then I'm just gonna let that sit. Like don't touch it or anything because when it's solidifying, It'll get like a layer over the top, but it'll still be liquid on the bottom. And if you move it or like place it somewhere else, it could explode because we've had that happen with like lip balms and stuff when we like put it somewhere else and then it like, it's weird. But um, I would recommend just leaving it there for about two hours. Um, if you want to speed up this um, cooling time, feel free to pop it in the fridge. Don't freeze it, but pop it in the fridge for maybe about 30 minutes and then let it cool the rest of the way. Um, but if you do that, I have noticed that it does tend to melt as a little bit of a lower melting point. I don't know what the deal is with that, um, but it does melt a little bit faster if you do that. But this is your sunscreen. You're done. All you have to do is put the lid on it. I wouldn't recommend doing that until it's totally done um, solidifying so that, you know, just in case it falls over or whatever. 
Um, but you guys, thank you so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out our spring 2017 download. Um, if you have the download from last year and you're wondering what's different, we just changed a couple of the recipes. Some of them are the same. Um, the directions have been updated and they are just a little bit more clear on what you should do. Again, the stickers are phenomenally gorgeous. And if you get the whole download, obviously you're gonna get those table tents and all of that, which are a lifesaver, especially if you're teaching a class. So go ahead and check that out, you guys. We will see you on Friday for Future Friday, and you all have a fantastic week. See you later.